There is so much information available at the library. Do you know what had happened to them before they become part of your understanding about a topic? Let me tell you more about their fascinating journey. Once upon a time, information or ideas about a topic doesn't exist. Somebody, let's call him the curious researcher, uses his research techniques to look for data seemingly related to his research topic. He is so persistent that after countless failure, he has gathered enough raw data. Brought back to office, clean and try to organize them in meaningful ways. The first product he and his colleagues could make is a clean data set or statistical report. It has countless pages of numbers in tables or other formats. It is a really abstract view of the topic. Instead of telling you something directly, data sets beg you to interpret meanings from it. Then, colleagues of the curious researcher extract some of the numbers and tables and work hard to interpret the meanings and implications of these data. Using their professional knowledge, they found some plausible explanations of their data, significant implications, and published a 100-page extended research report. The story of the curious researcher continues. He and a few of his colleagues pick some of the most significant findings from the long report, back up their viewpoints and arguments with data and evidence, and wrote a 10-page journal paper to tell other interested researchers about his findings and bring the discussion of the topic to another level. However, it was not an easy process as the paper has to go through a rigorous peer review process. Even after a long time, reviews, queries and criticisms would still be raised by fellow researchers. At the other end of the world, a professional reads the curious researcher's extended research report and finds it really relevant to the interest of her fellow practitioners. She wrote a review article, published in the quarterly newsletter, and grabbed the attention of many professionals of the field. At about the same time, at another corner of the world, a curious professor who always keep an eye on arguments, ideas, theories, findings, and research on this topic has published a book that gives a really in-depth view and open new directions for further research on this topic. The book appears on library's bookshelf, as well as the online catalog as an e-book, readable on digital devices. It got the media's attention and featured on newspaper and instantly catch fire on social media, Facebook, Twitters, etc. Then another curious research found this book and several more in-depth questions pop up in his mind. So that is it, the never-ending journey of ideas.